Hi, my name is Kelsey and I work at the University Branch Library in Sugarland. Today, I'm going to show you how to make this calming glitter jar. When you are stressed out or just need a moment to relax, you can shake up your jar and watch as the glitter swirls and slowly settles to the bottom, giving yourself a chance to breathe and focus on something else for a moment. The supplies you'll need for this project are a glass jar, glitter glue or clear glue, fine glitter, hot water, and optionally chunky glitter and food coloring. To start, I'm going to take my jar and pour hot water in about a quarter of the way up. You can use any size jar you'd like, you'll just need to adjust the amounts accordingly. More for a larger jar and less for a smaller jar. Once you fill your jar, you're going to add your glue. I'm going to use a silver glitter glue and I'm going to put one to two tablespoons in for this size jar. You can measure this out, but I'm just going to eyeball it. Then, once I'm satisfied with the amount, I'm going to take a skewer and stir it up. This will help it start to dissolve in the water. Next, I'm going to add my fine glitter. For this jar size, I'm going to add about half an inch of glitter to the jar. I'm using an extra fine glitter. You don't want to use chunky glitter for this because it will not swirl in the water for very long, unlike the fine glitter. As I add the glitter, I'm going to mix periodically to help the glitter settle to the bottom so I can determine how much is in there. Once you have enough fine glitter, you have the option of adding in chunky glitter and food coloring. For this jar, I'm not going to use either. You can use as much chunky glitter as you like, but if you're adding food coloring, you will only want to add a drop or two to tint the water. Then you'll fill the rest of the jar with more water. This water doesn't have to be hot. I'm going to fill the jar a little above the bottom of the rim. This allows for some room when shaking the jar. Then I'm going to take my lid and seal the jar tightly. If you have spilled some water on the rim, make sure to wipe it up before you put the lid on. You want the lip of the jar to be dry so you can put the lid on tightly and ha not have any leak out. Then vigorously shake the jar to help the glue mix in some more. You may find that your jar leaks a bit as I did with some of the smaller ones I tried. If that happens, just dry off the jar and tighten the lid. With the glitter glue, you may find some chunks sitting in the pile of glitter once it is settled to the bottom. These will dissolve over time as they sit in the water and as you shake your jar to watch the glitter swirl. And there you have your calming glitter jar. You can shake it or swirl it and watch as the glitter flows around. If you liked this video, please check out our channel for more fun crafting ideas. Thanks for watching and have a great day.